Jamal Nayaz here with the big man himself, Slim. What an incredible night it's been here. Bit of controversy at the end of that main event. It looked like a clean elbow from KSI. What do you make of it? All right, so one thing for sure, I'm, I'm a, I say, KSI definitely got some scary power. I said that in his elbow, um, but he, he is hard too. I ain't gonna lie. He caught him with a clean overhand right. Yeah, he did. That overhand right wobbled him. He, he didn't want no more. I know he was in, KSI was gonna finish him regardless, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it's gonna be controversial online because he caught him, he caught him with a nice clean right hand at, at, into the body right after that right hand. And then in the clinch, it was a, a full straight elbow. Like, yeah. that was some Conor McGregor <laughs> shit right yeah. there. That, that wouldn't have gone missing in the UFC, would it? A knockout I, like I, that. I was telling him on stage, I'm like, bro, you should do MMA with that elbow shit. That, that was scary, bro. Yeah, I seen Joe Fournier's eyes roll behind his head, bro. It was bad. Wait, I'm telling you. If, if that had happened to a fight for yourself, you're obviously you're not prepared to defend an elbow, are you? So sometimes something might happen like that in the influencer boxing scene. Yeah. Would you be absolutely fuming if, if that had happened to you? If that happened to me, I'd be devastated, man, because, you know, it's, it's obviously unfair, but it's not like KSI did it intentionally. He, was, he threw a right hook. Right. The, 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 the punch missed completely, but the elbow landed. It happens in boxing. It also happened in another influencer boxing match. I think it was Wasabi versus, um, oh, was it? I forgot, Wasabi fighting somebody, I think, or I, I forgot who did it. Someone did it in the influencer scene, but, but KSI's elbow is definitely on a different level, man. Shit, yeah. <laughs> he knocked this out cold, man. He needs Shit. to get over to the UFC with that. Yeah. Um, Tommy Fury's next. That's a badass fight. Could be happening over here in August. What do you make of it? And who do you see winning? Yo, that's a big fight. Huge fight. Big fight for the community. I'd love to see it happen. Um, Tom, I was with Tommy Fury on stage as well. And I was with KSI on stage. So I was saying this to Tommy Fury. I said this to KSI. Yeah. Tommy Fury's a big ass guy, bro. Big guy, he's yeah. a big, yo, he's heavyweight. He is not no light. Tommy Fury, you're not no light heavyweight, bro. You fight a heavy. You should be fighting a heavyweight. You should be competing against Tyson Fury, bro. He's a yo. He's huge, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead ass. I don't know how he depletes himself to get that low. He's, he looks like he walks around at 220 or some shit. But I come from like a hardcore UFC boxing background, so I, I work on all the big UFC and boxing shows. This is my first time working on an influencer show. I absolutely love the energy here, man. And you know what I like as well. And I'm probably gonna get a, a bit bollocked by the hardcore fans in the boxing and MMA community is that when you guys talk the trash to each other there's no wait until the fight you just throw hands there and then and that's what happened with Tommy and Idris there there's, there's, they just go at it and it, from an entertaining perspective it's good for the fans yeah, they yeah. sell the fights it definitely is you know Idris Virgo he's definitely been hungry for a fight since the last fight he he beat Anthony Taylor you know he dropped him also and um He's been feeding for a fight, so you probably went up to Tommy Fury to rile him up. He's like, yo, fight me next, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tommy Fury is the type of dude that don't take shit from nobody. So it probably, I saw it from ringside, it was it looked crazy, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I didn't get to see too much, I need to look, see the videos online, but yeah, man, it's, it's dope, man. Does that, that get you hyped up as well and think, oh man, this is gonna be a crazy night of fights. There's so many different fighters that wanna fight each other. It just creates fantasy matchups, doesn't it? Definitely, man, uh, this, place, this space is different. It's so entertaining. Every single event has been fun. There's always something crazy going on. But um, end of the day, all of us put in that work. We, we love boxing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we, we put in the work to, because like, it's not no easy sport. It's no, not no, an easy no. game, man. You gotta put in the work. You got you see so much heart tonight. You might not see the highest level of skill like world champions, but you're gonna see, you'll see a lot of heart. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's why you gotta respect us. Bro, your knockout show that you've been putting in the work, your highlight reel, you're building up something special with your highlight reel. Anthony Taylor wants a bit of slim. Could it, I know, I've heard that you might not be ready uh, for August, I know you've been having some issues with your breathing with your nose. Yeah. Could it happen this year though, Anthony Taylor? Um, I, I think that could happen this year, maybe later end of the year or something like that. But you know, first things first, I had to go, had to go back to the drawing board. I needed to do a surgery on my nose, but I definitely would like that matchup, honestly. I would like that matchup. You know, I gotta get one back from my boy Salt, honestly. I gotta get one back from my boy Salt. And uh, I have so much potential matchups. I'm a prize fighter, man. It's slim to hit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a higher to hit, man. It costs a very high price, if you know what I mean by beat. Kingpin. I'm guessing they're going to do a season two tournament. Would you be interested in that? And, you know, Misfits, they could put in a heavy tournament of their own, couldn't they? Do you know if that could potentially be in the works? Oh, uh, man, I don't know, man. But that tournament idea was actually pretty cool. I liked it. I like yeah. the tournament idea. You know, it gets everybody invested. You know, it reminds me of, like, Naruto. It's like an anime I watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have something called the shooting exams where all these characters jump in and they fight each other, which is so cool. And yeah, they go yeah. to the next round. Yeah, yeah. So it reminds me of something like that, but a real-life version of it. And, yeah. and it's all influences that I know. And all guys in my weight class. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested to see who comes out on top. I think the next event's coming up soon, so I'm gonna sit back and watch. If they do one on Misfits, man, uh, I'm a top dog. I don't need to do tournaments, bro. Yeah, yeah. The winner of a tournament gotta come see the top dog. I wanna see you in a tag match. Who would be your ideal tag team partner and what team would you wanna go up against? Just fantasy booking. Oh, man. I, I don't know if I'm gonna jump in a tag match. Like, I, I, I don't know if it's like that's me, because I'm a solo kind of guy, man. But if I do, I would do a tag match. 
man, I got so much love for my bro Salt. I ain't gonna lie. I would love to tag with him. Who I ain't gonna Salt lie. Yeah. Who again? Huh? Anybody, man. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> um, final one. Jake Paul, Nate Diaz. That's a big ass fight. Happening in August. What do you make of it? Who wins? Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. Amazing fight, you know what I'm saying? Jake Paul has been doing the same fighting MMA fighters, you know, riling that MMA fan base. You know, it's a huge fan base. And fighting Nate Diaz is a legend in this game, you know what I'm legend, saying? Bro. I, I, I see Jake Paul's plan, man. You know, he's lining this up. He's, I think he's going to beat Jake, uh, Nate Diaz, and he's going to try to line up and get that Conor McGregor fight. Jake Paul is a marketing genius. I respect I respect his grind. A lot of people hate on him, but, yo, he, he is such he's so smart business-wise. You got to respect that's why he's making the bread. You know, he's making so much money more than a lot of pro boxers who've been doing this their whole lives. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent, brother. I really appreciate your time. I know everyone wants to speak to you. You're one of the baddest men on the influencer scene. Can't wait to see you back in there, brother. Yes, sir. Let's get it, bro. Thank appreciate you, brother. You.